Hello viewers, this is a lilac bush. It looks like this. It doesn't have flowers now and it's because it's only month of uh, end of May. Anyway, today I will be showing how to propagate them. And it's a lot of ways of propagating them. You can propagate them by cuttings, by air layering. But the one I will show today is by taking out shoots or suckers of a lilac bush. How do they look like? Suckers of lilac bush will actually grow on the sides like this. So there's a lot of them growing and they are growing all the time every year so it's a lot of suckers there or shoots those are the ones that you will take it out because one thing when you will take them out it will also encourage your lilac bush to bear flowers and at the same time you reproduce more of these plants and they are very easy to plant so what we will do now is like we will dig out some of the shoots and save them in a pail with water it's very important so that the roots will they will not be withered and sometimes you don't have time immediately to uh, plant them into a pot so it's very good that you have a pail of water and then you put it there the shoots that you will dig out so hang on and watch how I will be digging them out. So this is how you dig your lilac shoots or the lilac suckers. Just push it and do like that. And you can just drag it. You can just drag the plant. Drag your two hands and there you go you have already a lilac plant so i have one there and so as you see they really roots very well and this is ready for planting in our pots i can dig more of them and just save them in a pail of water and then plant them in a sh on a, in a pot later on so as you see it's still even new shoots here or suckers so it, that is how easy it is to just pull out the suckers now i will show you how to be planting them in your pots so here it is now our lilac shoots or suckers are ready for planting so if you don't have time yet after you are digging them out from the ground then you can just save them there they can be there for even a month or two or three until you are ready to put them in the pots so this is how simple it is just to to plant a lilac shoot or sucker that we collected you have your potting soil there and it, you don't have to be particular of the potting soil because these plants can just grow whatever potting soil you need you can even just directly plant it into the ground but normally i plant it first in uh, in 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 a pot and it's because i i have more control of it in watering i will only plant them in in my garden when I see already that the plant had already established a lot of roots and like it had been like maybe next year I will put this in the ground and uh, this lilac actually is purple the color of this is purple and if you don't if you like the other colors of lilac you can actually graft it i have a video with how to graft a lilac so it means if you have a purple lilac then you can graft it with a lilac that is color white or or like the light blue uh, so if your neighbor has another color you can actually ask a scion from your neighbor just be sure you collect your scion in the month of april of february 
uh, January, February, and then by the month of April, then you can start to the uh, air layer, uh, no, to graft them. So that is why some people are grafting a uh, lilac because you want to have different colors. You can have one lilac with three, four variety or colors of it. And you do it by grafting, you do it. So you have to let it grow a little bit uh, so that you can just graft on it. So now the other ones that I have in soak in the water, I will just do it later on. So here it is. Here is our new lilac plant. And you just have them. I usually put them, if I have everything in the pot, I put them in another, in a one place where I can just water them easily. Because if I immediately plant them in the ground, and the, the garden is quite big and I don't want to go around, I want to put them in the ground when I'm sure that they are already grown and had already established a lot of roots so they they can survive even if you don't water them every day if they are already established so lilac they're very good to have in your in your garden because you you don't have to take care a lot you don't have to give a lot of care for them they are very good plants to have in your garden they can grow into a very big bush anyway i will show you a plant a lilac plant that grows very well with a lot of flowers and again thank you so much for watching i hope this video can help you if you're not a subscriber yet please subscribe to my channel and so that you can be updated with all the updates of my plants air layered grafting and all this stuff thank you again this is evelyn of libabuhai your information tv bye bye